As the world's largest country, Russia makes up one-tenth of all the land on our planet. In fact, this country is so big they have 11 time zones that span across Europe and Asia. Russia has an astounding 11,000 years of history. Add to that its sheer size, and you have a country with a lot to offer. Home to more than 100 million people, it's also the place of many complex cultures. With that being said, there's a lot more to Russia than the stereotypes we see on the internet. In this video, I'll show you some of the most interesting things in the country. From Siberian sinkholes to the mysterious Amber Room, here are the 15 most shocking discoveries in Russia. Number 15. Siberian Sinkholes In 2020, scientists were surprised when they discovered enormous craters that mysteriously appeared in Siberia. It's still unclear whether they've just formed or if they've been there for long. But regardless, these holes in the landscape worry many people. At least 17 of these massive holes have been spotted across Siberia over recent years, and no one knows how, when, or why exactly they formed. One theory suggests that these holes form in a day, and are caused by the buildup of methane gas in the pockets of warming permafrost. However, there is still a chance that man-made activities influenced these terrifying craters to appear. Seeing these sinkholes in person is definitely terrifying. If these were to appear in regions inhabited by people, they would do massive damage due to their size. In fact, one of the craters researchers examined is a staggering 165 feet in depth. This means it can easily swallow up a 17-story building. In case you're wondering what would happen if someone got swallowed by one of these, in 2019, two men were allegedly boiled alive when they fell into one of these. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. 13. Russian Stonehenge Stonehenge is a prehistoric monument located on Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, England. For many years, we weren't quite sure what its purpose was, and why prehistoric people bothered to build it. There is one theory that it was used by early humans as an observatory, or a place for religious ceremonies. Perhaps our ancestors back then unknowingly had similar ideas to modern humans. Recently, a photographer discovered Russia's very own Stonehenge. This is Sunduki, also known as the Siberian Stonehenge. It can be found on the bank of the Beli Ius River in the Republic of Caucasia. It's a series of eight sandstone rock formations, and many believe that it's a prehistoric site that dates back to 16,000 years. There's a huge chance that just like Stonehenge, people back then used this site as a religious site, or a place to observe the heavenly bodies in the sky. So far, this site is considered to be the oldest astronomical observatory in all of Asia. Number 12. Anatoly Mostvin and his Bizarre Dolls Alright, buckle up, because this is a pretty wild story. This is Anatoly Mostvin, and he's known for his weird obsession with dolls. But not just any dolls. He has a strange fascination for mummified ones. People discovered Anatoly has been living with life-sized dolls, with human corpses inside of them. Needless to say, many were shocked by this discovery. You're probably thinking that no one in their right mind would ever do such a thing. And I guess you're right, because after catching his strange behavior, he was taken by authorities and was later on diagnosed with a mental disorder schizophrenia. To understand where Anatoly's strange obsession began, let's take a look at his rather hard childhood. According to Anatoly, he was allegedly assaulted by a man when he was in third grade, and he never told his parents about it. But that's not all. Even as a child, he had a strange habit of hanging out in cemeteries and claimed that he had always been interested in anything surrounding death. We all have a phase where we're into the doom and gloom, but for him, it was a little different. When he was 13 years old, he was allegedly stopped by a group of people wearing black suits while on his way home from school. Young Anatoly didn't know any better and followed them. It turned out that the group dragged him to a funeral of a young girl. The adults purportedly encouraged him to kiss the dead girl's face, which was pretty weird for them, might I add. And the mother of the deceased girl proceeded to give both of them wedding rings. Here's the thing. Both of these came from Anatoly's statements, so we're not sure whether these are true life events that actually happened or if these are figments of his imagination. Anatoly claims that he wanted to adopt a child, but after being denied repeatedly, he decided to dig up the graves of young girls and make them into dolls by preserving them and putting clothes on them. No one had any idea about his strange hobby, but his neighbors did notice a foul smell when walking near his house. His parents, on the other hand, claimed that their son had always been a little different, and when they saw the dolls in his house, they thought he only liked life-size dolls. 
they had no idea that corpses were inside them. Anatoly had been confined in a mental institution, and even when some of the doctors claimed that he was mentally sound enough to be released, the authorities still think it was better for him to stay confined. After all, Anatoly claimed that there's no use to rebury the corpses found in his house because he'll dig them up again after his release. So I guess the mental institution will be his long-term home, for now. Number 11. Siberian Unicorn The reason why we don't see unicorns today isn't because they're not real. It's because they existed a long time ago and are now extinct. This is the Siberian Unicorn, and the last of them died out almost 350,000 years ago. I know what you're thinking. That's a unicorn? Yes, I know that they're far from the unicorns that are portrayed in fictional works. But hey, they fit the description. Kind of. These animals, officially named Elasmotherium Sibiricum, had one long horn on their head. Instead of the mythical unicorn, these guys resembled the modern-day rhino with their shaggy coats and huge rhino-like horns. But hey, at least we know now that unicorns are indeed real. But sadly, they had no magic, glitter, or rainbow tails. Number 10. Giant Diamond Mine This might look like the Siberian sinkholes that I showed you earlier, but unlike those holes that were formed by nature itself, this is the second largest man-made pit in the entire world. This hole is more than 1,700 feet deep and has a diameter of a whopping 3,900 feet. It can be found in the Siberian region of eastern Russia, and it's one of the largest diamond mines in the world. In 2017, a flood caused the death of several miners here, and since then, it's been closed. But according to authorities, they will continue their operation in the mine starting again in 2024. If you're getting intimidated by looking at this huge pit, you really should be. It's deep enough that it has the possibility to suck in small aircraft, and it's an accident-prone area. It's not a place that just anyone should explore. As dangerous as it is, it's a valuable project that produced diamonds worth at least $17 billion in the years it was operational. However, the rough terrain in the area and the freezing weather made it difficult for the workers to continue the project. The deadly accident became the final straw for officials to close it. To this day, many associate the mine with mystery and death. Number 9. 32,000-Year-Old Wolf Since the permafrost in Siberia began thawing, People started discovering preserved parts of woolly mammoths that once roamed the area thousands of years ago. Mammoths are pretty awesome, but perhaps one of the most astounding discoveries as of yet is the perfectly preserved head of a wolf that is more than 32,000 years old. The head was discovered in Siberia's Yakutia region, and to be precise, the specimen was the partial carcass of an adult Pleistocene steppe wolf. These creatures lived among woolly mammoths and despite living in vastly different periods than the modern wolves we see today, researchers claim that there's not much of a difference between the two species. However, this specimen will still help them to uncover how these animals lived during the Pleistocene epoch. Number 8. Oldest Permafrost First of all, what is permafrost? As its name suggests, it's a permanently frozen layer below our planet's surface. It can range from 3 feet thick to thousands of feet thick, and it can be merely two years old or thousands of years old. Recently, researchers found the oldest known permafrost in the Siberian village of Batagay. This layer has been frozen at a depth of about 50 meters, and it's been like that for the past 650,000 years. This is incredibly amazing considering 130,000 years ago, our planet underwent a warm phase that thawed other permafrost, and yet this one endured it. However, researchers are afraid that if other permafrost continue to get exposed and melt, more and more carbon dioxide and methane will be released into our atmosphere, which could lead to pretty bad effects on our climate. Number 7. Blood Chocolate Bar This sweet choco bar is a unique treat that many Russians enjoyed as kids. It has a sweet vanilla flavor, and it looks like your typical chocolate bar. Now you're probably wondering why exactly does it have the word blood in its name? That's because this sweet food actually has blood in it. Blood Choco is a Soviet-era supplement that's known as hematogen or gematogen. You see, decades ago, these chocolate bars had another purpose other than satisfying those with a sweet tooth. Unlike other snacks, they were sold at pharmacies, but now they can be found in many stores and shops in former Soviet countries like Russia and Ukraine. In fact, you can even chance upon these goods in the US and Canada. In case you're bewildered, this chocolate doesn't contain human blood. 
and you don't have to worry because it only contains cow's blood. Additionally, it doesn't really contain as much as you think. It has at least 5% black food albumin, or in layman's terms, cow's blood. Aside from satisfying cravings, the not-so-secret ingredient in these chocolate bars helped with anemia, malnutrition, and fatigue. Some believe that people who ate them weren't aware that the chocolate bar contained blood, but contrary to popular belief, most people in Soviet Russia knew the ingredients of this food when they consumed it. Because this chocolate contains a lot of iron, these bars almost always leave a metallic aftertaste in your mouth. I guess you can say that this condensed milk sweetened treat is a bloody good chocolate bar. Number 6. Cave Lion Cub You might think that this is just a lump of fur, but you're looking at the oldest lion cub on earth. This is Sparta, a female lion cub that was found preserved in Siberia's permafrost. And this tiny one is a cave lion that's more than 26,000 years old. This lion cub's body is so incredibly preserved that researchers believe they could still get some traces of its mother's milk in it. How cool is that? Number 5. Spheres of Champ Island Champ Island is located in Russia's Franz Josef Land, and it's one of the many uninhabited places in the country. Aside from the fact that the temperature here is incredibly chilly due to being an Arctic island, this one island alone is littered with hundreds of spherical stones of varying sizes. There are nearly 200 islands surrounding this one, but the sphere stones can only be found here. The size of the sphere varies, with some being smaller than a coin and some being larger than an adult human. Seeing a single round stone is pretty odd, but seeing many of them in different sizes on just one island is pretty weird. What's weirder is that unlike other places where there are records of early human settlements, this island is known to be uninhabited ever since its existence. This means there's no way humans could have made these stone balls. So who? Or what? This time aliens aren't part of the theory, and it's highly possible that these curious spheres are the creations of nature and time. These might have been formed as sedimentary materials that came in contact with twigs, leaves, or shells. Through this, a chemical reaction might have been triggered, causing the formation of these balls. And now it's time for today's topic. This photo has been making waves on the internet recently, and it allegedly shows a strange and mysterious creature that is unknown to science. It doesn't have any features, and it resembles a sea cucumber. It was purportedly found washed ashore, and needless to say, scientists were shocked to find this in Russia. With all of the strange creatures that we've discovered so far, I'm not even baffled at this point. What do you think this strange creature is? Do you think it's another mysterious sea creature that we're yet to discover more about? Or do you think this is yet again another hoax? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. T-34 Polar Bear Polar bears are incredible creatures that are now on the brink of extinction because they're losing their habitat. That's why over the past few years, many have been making efforts to save them and preserve their population. That's why some people became concerned when they saw this polar bear, with the symbols T-34 written on its body with what looks to be paint. But did this really harm the animal? Let me tell you the story of the T-34 tank, the polar bear. This photo was snapped by concerned residents after spotting the bear near the village's rubbish dump in Russia. I don't think anyone would even dare to approach a ferocious animal like the polar bear to spray graffiti on its skin. But as absurd as it may sound, seeing this would make anyone worry for the animal. But as it turns out, the people who sprayed these symbols onto the bear's skin were scientists themselves who wanted to have a grid reference relating to the area of the Arctic archipelago where the animal was found. The spray was safe paint, which wears off in two weeks, and the researchers also cleared up that the T-34 symbol wasn't a reference to a Russian tank. I guess this was just a bad case of misunderstanding, so hopefully the big fellow was okay. Number 3. Dyatlov Pass Case The Dyatlov Pass Case is an enduring mystery for more than 60 years. This incident involved eight students and one sports instructor. Ten students were originally supposed to join, but because of joint pain, one of them bailed out from the plan. This student unknowingly dodged a miserable death that would forever be remembered in history. In 1959, the nine-man group headed into the freezing wilderness of Russia, not knowing that they would never come back from their journey. No one ever heard from the seven men and two women ever again. Since their leader or instructor Igor Dyatlov is known to be a skilled person who even participated in the Second World War, everyone thought that the group would come back home safe. 
When no one heard of them after a few weeks, a search and rescue team was organized to find the missing group. When the rescue team found the spot where the group set up a tent, they only found food supplies inside, all of which seemed to have been abandoned without warning. The tent also had a slash on one side, indicating that someone tried to make an escape from the inside, and they also found footprints walking away from the shelter, as if something prompted its occupants to run outside in sub-zero temperature just to escape from something or someone. It took months before all the bodies were recovered, and all of the corpses died miserably. Two of the men were found barefoot and covered only with undergarments. The majority of them died from hypothermia, but they also had perplexing injuries, including missing body parts, a fractured skull, broken ribs, and a gaping gash to the head. To this day, there's no definite conclusion as to what really prompted the group to leave their tent and run into the freezing wilderness. Many conspiracy theories have been created out of this incident, and many believe that aliens, yeti, cryptids, radiation fallout, or a secret society are responsible for it. However, scientists believe that the Dyatlov Pass is just an unfortunate incident where travelers got caught up in an avalanche. Recent studies show that the injuries they garnered could have been caused by a pretty massive avalanche. However, this explanation leaves two things unanswered. Why were some of the victims only clad in their underwear? And why did some of them have missing tongues and eyes? Number 2. Legend of the Black Volga The Black Volga is a sleek, dark car that is popular in Russia, Ukraine, and Hungary. But it's not just because of its durability as a vehicle. The reason why this black car is so famous is because of a dark legend it's associated with. This vehicle was once the nightmare of kids in Russia, especially during the 50s. You see, just like how many urban legends were used by our parents to scare us as kids, the Black Volga was like the Slender Man that would take you away if you did something that the adults didn't approve of. The story goes that this car would roam around at night and kidnap any children that were still out. Whoever gets taken by it would end up being sold to rich people and die a miserable death. There are a few theories as to who drove it. Some say the Black Volgas were driven by priests, nuns, Satanists, and even vampires, but none of these claims have proven to be true. However, just like other legends, the story has some figments of truth in it. In April 1965, a Black Volga got involved in the kidnapping of a three-year-old. And ever since, these classy cars have been associated with kidnappers and goons. I guess it makes sense that this legend is still so well known to this day. Times might have changed already, and the generation today may fear other things. But sometimes, legends like this are still feared to this day. Number 1. The Amber Room Also known as the Eighth Wonder of the World, it's one of history's oldest mysteries and also one of Russia's treasures. It's located in Tsarskoye Selo Catherine Palace, near St. Petersburg, and it was meant to symbolize a deal that put a stop to the Prussian-Russian cooperation on the international scene. The Amber Room had amber-colored walls and mirrors with gold leaf embellishments, as its name would apply. It was built in Prussia in the 18th century, but it was demolished swiftly, and it wasn't long before it disappeared during World War II. Neither the room's panels nor its artwork have been seen since it was disassembled and brought to Germany. However, in 2020, a shipwreck was discovered by Polish divers, and they claimed that it looked like a German Second World War ship. Many were excited about its contents. But perhaps the most thrilling thing about this discovery is that it contained the ornate chamber that the Germans looted from a Tsar's palace in Russia, the Lost Amber Room. If this is true, then we might finally get to see the amber and gold room that was once one of the most precious rooms inside the Catherine Palace. With all these discoveries, Russia is pretty interesting, don't you think? If you already had the chance to visit this country, make sure to share your experience in the comments below. If you haven't, tell me your favorite entry in this video. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.